What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be washing my 2017 Honda Civic hatchback. Um, this will probably be part of a new playlist that I start. Just basic car washing skills. Um, I used to work for Detail Garage, so I'm familiar with all of the Chemical Guy products. I do have some g Technic, some Acquires, um, some other brands. Today specifically, I'll be focusing more so on Chemical Guys just because it's cheap, it's accessible, and it's user-friendly. You really can't screw this stuff up. Um, I am using their ProFlow electric pressure washer, um, but let me get everything hooked up and then we'll go ahead and start the video. Just a quick disclaimer, Detail Garage Chemical Guys, they are not endorsers or am I sponsored by them. I use their products, I pay for their products, I use them just because they're cheap and they're accessible. I have a store nearby where I can just go and purchase it. They are not a sponsor and they do not endorse this channel. Okay, so as far as soap, I am using the Chemical Guys, uh, what is this, the Max Foam, I believe, Max Foam 8. I think it's like 60, 70 bucks. Um, with this, you wanna fill up at least about 800 mils of water. The less water you have, the more concentrated the foam is gonna be, so it'll be a lot thicker and you only need about one to two ounces of soap. So what I'm using is the Mr. Gold from Chemical Guys, and then I am using some of the graphene shampoo from Adams. Uh, this is specifically just my preference. I like the way the Mr. Gold washes. It's very soft and it's lubricative. Um, and then the Adams, obviously the graphene, I'm trying to get, it's not a ceramic coat, but I'm trying to get some of the water repellent properties. So that's why I'm using that in a mixture. And then again, I'm using less water so I get a more concentrated foam, a lot thicker, more dense foam because I do live out in the desert. I don't want to be scratching the paint with whatever dust is on the car. Okay, so I have my bucket here. Typically you want at least two buckets with dirt traps in the bottom. Um, I just have the one bucket, but I'm going to be using multiple towels. I am using towels that's what i said i'm using towels instead of mitts today because i can't find my mitt but these towels are really soft these are the happy ending towels from chemical guys um so i'll be using multiple towels to get the car washed um these are really soft really plush and uh it should be fine for what i'm doing okay once you're ready go ahead and rinse off the car um you want to get as much of the loose debris that's on the surface off as possible that's why you always rinse first so right here on this wrap, you can see it's pretty dirty. It's like a week, maybe two weeks. This is all stuck to the surface. It's not bonded to the surface yet because I have clay barred the vehicle a couple weeks ago, so it's not too bad. Um, but you wanna make sure you get all this heavy stuff off the, so you don't cause any scratching or marring on the surface of the car. I'm gonna be using the orange tip from Chemical Guys. This is a 15 degree. It's gonna be more than enough pressure to uh, get everything off the surface, any bugs, any bird droppings, any dirt, anything like that. Okay, I'm doing this a little backwards. Typically, you wanna start with the wheels just cause that's usually the dirtiest and it's easier to get out of the way first. So you don't get all the wheel debris back on the paint after you've already washed the paint. Um, so I'm gonna start with the paint first just cause I only have the one bucket. Next week, I am buying a new bucket. Okay, once you have the car rinsed off, you wanna kinda, you don't wanna hover over the car, but just kinda take a look at, you know, what still is on the car. I had some bird poop right here that came right off with just water. Some of the dirt right here on the mirror is still kinda stuck on, so that's just because of the wrap, because it's a porous material. The vinyl just kinda, it, the dirt adheres to the vinyl a lot easier than it does the paint. The paint is still very porous, but it's not as porous as the vinyl. A uh, couple spots on the window guards, I have some bugs. Um, and down here by the wheels, I've got road debris. This is just stuff from the road, so it could be uh, any dressing that you used on the wheel mixed with brake dust, if you drove through any puddles. Um, 
anything that's on the road will come up. So oil, cooling, anything from any other cars, it, it's just, it's gonna happen. Um, if you haven't done the proper maintenance to your car, it's gonna stick and it could potentially stain. But if you're washing the car on a regular basis, you shouldn't have any issues pulling it off. I have it on this side as well. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but this stuff will come right off. Like it just comes off with your finger. Obviously you don't want to do that because you can scratch the paint. Um, actually there's some right here. I don't know if you can see it or not right there. This could be tar. It could be sap. It can be anything. I don't know. Dressing could be gum for all I know. That stuff will come right off. If it doesn't come off, you can use a clay bar or something like that. Okay, now when you get your soap plugged in, you always wanna kinda spray it away first. You wanna test you know, your stream of soap first off, but sometimes I've had it happen where the whole canister will just pop out of the mouth of the gun and it, if it hits your car, that's an issue. You could scratch paint, you could dent the car depending on how you know how hard you drop it but we're just looking for our stream we want to straighten that out get a nice fan so if we close it up see right there if you close it up you'll get a fan of soap just like that so depending on the size of the vehicle you might want to get a wider spread a wider fan so you can cover more surface area of the car but we'll go ahead and soap this up and get started All right, so right off the back, you can see how thick this foam is. I've actually already walked around the car a couple times and it's still sticking to the surface. This is really good. Very lubricative, lubricative. Um, just so you won't have any scratches or anything while you're wiping down the car. Might have to hit this side before I come over here, but this is what you want. You want full coverage. So when you start washing the car itself, you don't have any dry spots that can potentially cause scratches or marring on the surface. And I am using a towel instead of a mitt, but you always want to start at the top and the bottom. We usually start at the middle. You always want to go in straight lines. You don't want to go in any circles. Circles are a lot harder to buff out of the paint than straight lines. So you always go straight lines. What I do is I'll hit the glass. I hit the back glass. this scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the towel over and I'm going to use the side that I didn't use so I don't cause any scratches. And again, straight lines only. Just a little bit of pressure. Don't put too much pressure because if you catch a piece of dirt, you can scratch the surface of your car. Get the glass. on the top I'm gonna ring it out at this point you would rub it on your dirt trap to knock off any debris that's stuck on the wash mitt so I'm gonna switch out to a different towel I'm gonna ring it out again and then you'll just repeat the process do a couple want to go top to bottom you don't want to jump around going to the bottom of the car and then back to the top you can bring some debris from the bottom of the car that's closest to the road and bring it up top you can cause issues with the paint you can cause defects and then if there's any iron on your car you can actually transfer that to the top where the sun hits and then the sun will beat on that and then it'll cause the paint to either flake or fade or have discoloration Okay, so I didn't show it, but I rinsed off the car and I did a walk around. All I did was spray water on it, wash off all the soap, did a walk around, and all I'm looking for is any spots that I've missed, um, any spots that I might not have walked, wiped down, like stuff like that. No, that's stuck on there. That needs a clay bar. Um, but just 
looking around, trying to see if there's any leaves or any road soot, any brake dust, anything that I missed, any bugs, stuff like that. Okay, so if you have any trouble with the car drying off like it is now, all you have to do is respray it. And the last clip you should have saw, uh, I resprayed the car with soap, which is fine. That's just to avoid uh, watermarks on the vehicle. So you can do that, especially if you're washing in the sun. Soap marks don't stain the paint, but watermarks do. So all of this, I can rinse back off real quick go ahead and wipe down but because it is watermarks and it's starting to dry on i'll just suds it up real quick rinse it off that way i don't have any of these streaks going on okay so the main reason why you want to wash the wheels before you wash the car is now i have to wash the wheels and there's water on the car so i have to keep going back and forth and rinsing off the car to make sure the water doesn't dry on the car so this is why you always wash your wheels first um I am using the same bucket. Do not do this because anything that comes off of the wheel into here will get on the paint if you're using the same bucket. Always use separate buckets. But from now on, this black bucket will be my wheel cleaning bucket specifically. So next time I go to the store, I need to buy two buckets instead of just one. So remember, have a designated bucket, brush, towel, everything for the wheels only. You don't want to take this brake dust and put it on the paint because you will cause issues with the paint. It will cause it to fail. You can get rust spots. You can get nasty stains. It's just a whole ordeal. Do not do it. What I'm using is some orange degreaser from Chemical Guys. Um, this isn't diluted, so it's going to be a little more powerful than it needs to be. But I do have kicked up uh, wheel dressing on here, so that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, remember, do not wash this with anything that you're gonna use on the paint. Do not do it, that's a no-no. Okay, so basically what I'm using, I don't know which clip is gonna have it, but you're gonna use your orange degreaser. I've already washed the other three tires because you don't need to see me do it four times. But this is orange degreaser from Chemical Guys. This comes undiluted. You can dilute it. You can do a one-to-one, -one, two-to-one, 10-to-one, -one, whatever you wanna do. I use it just like this when I don't have the wheel cleaner because I like the wheel cleaner works better than this. But basically what you'll do is you'll rinse off your wheel. You're gonna spray this all over and obviously wash the wheel. I'm using the, I believe this is the Red Rocket. It's got a malleable stem so you can bend it which way you need. Um, so let me rinse this off apply the degreaser and then show you how to use it. This is the brush that I'm using for the tires. This is a stiff bristle brush. This is gonna agitate any previous dressings, any road grime, anything that's on the tires and get it off. Um, these aren't too bad. You can see right here, there's some orange, kind of hard to see. The orange is called blooming. It's just the rubber oxidizing. Um, I'm not gonna say that's what you wanna see, but that's what happens when you pull the protective layer off of the tire the uv protected and basically when your tires are like that they're non-protected so you need to put some kind of dressing on it so they don't dry rot but let me rinse this off and then show you how, how to do it what you can do is you can rinse off the wheel bucket take a degreaser get the rubber and then because i am in the dirt i gotta be careful down here so i don't sling that back up on the paint bristle brush, throw some on there, and then just go to town. This brush is made out of plastic, so if you hit the paint, it's not that big of a deal. You can see the foam turning brown. What you want to do is you want to scrub, rinse, and repeat until the foam is white. They weren't too dirty, They're, it's almost white, um, but it still needs a little, a little more love. Pretty well. 
this is why you always use separate buckets look how, how dirty that is it does have a red hue because the towel i was using was brand new but look at all that dirt in there that's why you always use a dirt trap you always use two buckets and you always use a bucket separate for your wheels okay well unfortunately part of the wheel cleaning process uh, my phone ran out of space so that all kind of got lost um but I am gonna be making a video specifically for the wheels, wheel cleaning and dressing, so that'll be covered in a later video. But it's same stuff, spray it down, wipe it down with a wheel brush, make sure you don't scratch the surface. Um, if you have chrome or gloss painted wheels, you're gonna to wanna to use a softer brush, not this red rocket. This will cause blemishes in the surface of the wheel. Um, use something like a makeup brush or if you want use a microfiber towel just make sure that towel is either thrown out and discarded afterwards or make sure that that can be designated for wheels only you don't want to use that stuff on the paint you'll cause issues with the paint okay this is starting to dry I'm gonna suds it up real quick rinse it off and then wipe it down uh, I'll probably just film wiping down because you've already seen me wash the car you don't need to see me do it again but i just need to get some of these water spots off the surface and of course with any car guy's luck it's gonna rain so i mean the car needed to be clean regardless but it's kind of pointless i'm gonna finish this up and then uh we'll get out of here okay so for drying the vehicle i'm using this it's nothing crazy it's just a large microfiber towel Always go in straight lines, don't go in circles. You'll cause scratches to the paint. Um, let me set you up so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna be quick about this so I can get out of here before the wind comes. What you'll do is you'll take your towel, fold it in half. You can fold it in quarters if you want, which is what I'm gonna do. And you wanna start from the top and go down. Basically what you're doing is you're taking the towel and when you go to the surface, don't just drag it across the surface. What you're doing is you're rolling your hand at the same time. So as you move across the surface, you get a clean part of the towel every time. Well, and just like that, the dust is here, so this video is cut a little short. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do, but it's not going to let up because that storm is coming quick. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, but, I mean, it's just a basic car wash. Later down in the playlist, I'll be showing dressings and paint correction, waxes, sealants, ceramic coatings, everything like that. But the car is clean. guys did like this video please leave a like subscribe comment on what you want to see next um more than likely gonna do my wife's car next show you guys how to decontaminate the paint i'm gonna pull the wheels off of the car and do a deep clean because those have never been cleaned and then we'll dive into the interior because my kids make that an absolute disaster um but if you have any questions feel free to ask i'm here you can reach out to me on instagram or in the comment section below uh other than that hope you guys have a good one